So what's up? Welcome to the very first episode of Cooking with Chaps. Today we're going to be doing steaks. Everybody likes steaks. Big game, steaks, chicken wings, they all go together, but everybody likes a good steak. I'm going to cook it here with a little French method, which means under vacuum it's soy vide. I know I'll probably say it wrong because I'm not a French dude. I'm a Marine. Deal with it. I can't say French words. The benefit of doing soy vide style cooking, you can set the temperature within like a tenth of a degree of how hard you how how you want it. It remains juicy and it's almost like a crock pot. Once you learn how to use this style of cooking, you really can't fuck it up. Now a lot of people who use the soy V method of cooking will do so and they'll tell you that you have to get a vacuum sealer and all that. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is get normal Ziploc bags and you can do water pressure to get the air out. These are huge Ziploc bags. You don't even have to use these Ziploc bags. You can get the normal gallon size, but I had these left over at home, so I brought them. A little salt and pepper on it. Some Irish butter. You add butter to add to a little bit of the fat content. And then if you want to come over this way, I have this just pan that I got from a restaurant supply store, and I'm pressing down because only one corner of this bag is open still. The air is coming out of the bag just by the natural pressure and the meat is going to stay under and then I seal it the rest of the way and it'll stay just like that. So this is going to sit in this bath for about an hour and a half. So whenever you're done, you know your meat's done, all you have to do is push off so you can see like all the juices are there. So now it's just going to sit in the sink, I give it about 15 minutes to rest in the sink. What I'm gonna do is take a cast iron pan, get the cast iron pan screaming hot, a little bit of oil on it, hit one side, then add butter and do a butter base with thyme that I've already chopped up, and then I'm gonna finish it off with just a little bit of chives. Once you put it on there, set your timer for about a minute and a half, minute and 45 seconds, and it's gonna get a good sear. Two strip steaks, nice little crust on the outside. I'm gonna let it rest again for about five minutes, 10 minutes before I cut it. As you can see, just a little bit of the juice has ran, but not like if you would have cut it up right away. And then because we didn't put too much salt at the beginning, flamboyant with it, bitch, king of the meat. <laughs> 